Premiere Pro saves temporary media cache files of any file that you import into a project. In an ideal world, they're supposed to make playback and editing much smoother, but sometimes these files get corrupted or the cache ends up getting so massive on your hard drive that you can't even do anything. This is how to clear your cache in Premiere Pro. To delete the cache, open Premiere Pro, but don't open a new project. Then click on Edit, then Preferences, then Media Cache. You'll see a Remove Media Cache Files button. Clicking the Delete button will pop up another window that asks whether you'd like to delete unused media cache files or all media cache files. The first option only deletes files that can no longer be found in projects, and that's probably not what you want. Deleting all media cache files will actually delete all of the files, so select this to clear your cache completely. And there you go, you're finished. If you can't open Premiere Pro, you can manually delete the media cache by navigating to its folder location. Here are the default locations, but if you've changed this, you'll need to remember where you set it in order to delete the files. While you're in these settings, you might want to adjust some of your cache options. You can browse for a new location for your media cache. The default Adobe location will be on your primary drive where your operating system is installed, and this can cause slowdowns if the cache gets too big. If possible, you should change your media cache so that it's on its own dedicated solid state drive, or at least on a solid state drive that isn't your operating system's drive. You can also schedule automatic deletion based on storage size or time. Set a number of days or a percentage of storage drive size. The default values are a good starting point, but you can adjust to your personal needs. Any changes you make will only be applied upon quitting and restarting Premiere Pro. The deletion process will happen every time you open Premiere Pro, and the program will check to see if the conditions are met. We hope this helped you empty your Premiere Pro cache. For more Premiere Pro and editing tips, subscribe to FilterGrade today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit FilterGrade.com today.